Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Serial. Really, the Serial version UID error message that you get inside of Eclipse. I want to show you how to fix it, not just by writing some code in there, but also showing you how to go to Eclipse and say, hey, stop bugging me with this message. Don't show it to me ever again. So first, let's just trigger that serialization ID error. Anytime you have a class that implements serializable, you'll see this little warning here. It's not an error, it's a warning. My code will still compile, still run, but it says, hey, you should have a serial version UID for this particular field. Now, it's not so bad when you actually explicitly implement serializable, but a lot of times you'll create a class in Eclipse and the class extend serializable from some other class, and then you end up getting this annoying warning message. So you can actually just fix it, but I'd rather get rid of it, right? You can just add a default ID, that will get rid of it, just puts the number one in there, which seems pretty useless to me. Would make more sense if you actually put in a, a generated serialized ID, that way it's somewhat unique. So if objects get serialized and marshaled across a network, you can uniquely identify them. But you know, a lot of times I just don't worry about the serializable aspect of a file. So I just go into preferences here, and in preferences, there's colors and fonts, always a good idea to change those so your code's a little bit more readable. That's not what I want. I want to go into my into Java and take a look at my Java compiler and just go into these error and warnings. And you notice that there's this potential programming problem where you can look at errors and it says, hey, put out a really annoying serial version UID error every single time you create a class that implements somewhere on its history serializable. And I don't want to see that. So I'm just going to click ignore. And if you click ignore, the problem goes away. So personally, you know, if that serialization ID isn't something of great concern to you and it's not going to affect the way your programs run and it just annoys you inside of Eclipse, that's one way you can actually get rid of that warning forever. Just go into the compiler, errors and warnings, find serializable class without serial version UID, click ignore and the error goes away for good. And there you go, that's how easy that little warning message is to fix. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Lots of great tutorials on enterprise software development, Java, Eclipse, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.